First and most importantly, this is part two of this Pro-Am Combine series. If you didn't watch the first video, then pause this video right now and come back here after watching part one by either clicking the link in the description, clicking the link in the top right, or just clicking on my channel and going to the video that's titled, I tried out for the NBA 2K League Combine. Now that I got that out of the way, we are here. A lot of y'all have been waiting for this, the NBA 2K League Closed Combine video. After placing top five in both the 3v3 and 5v5 2K League events, I got invited to the 2K League Open Combine. Now, if you don't know what the NBA 2K League is, then go watch part one because I go into detail. But to sum it up, it's basically a professional league for the best of the best 2K players ran by the NBA and 2K Sports. After competing in the Open Combine with about over 500 plus other great players, we put up some great stat lines, won some close games, and proved we can compete in Comp Pro-Am while also leading the Combine in three point percentage, field goal percentage, and effective field goal percentage. We were then, of course, invited to private tryouts, which was called the Closed Combine, and that's going to be in today's video. The Closed Combine will consist of now just a little over 100 of the top players from the Open Combine, where each player will play a total of eight games, two on four different teams versus eight other different teams. At the end of the Combine, the players will wait for a response to see if they got cut or offered a player contract. If offered a player contract, those very few number of players will have an official chance to get selected in the 2023 upcoming NBA 2K League Draft. Will I get cut? Will I get offered a player contract? Can I compete with the best of the best? Let's find out. I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Green out, green out. Way to shoot this. Way to shoot that way. Yo, double H. Wrap and then cut it off the wrap. Oh, yeah. Good call. That was all right. Bad shot. We got three, two. He's totally so good. Oh, fuck. I'm picking up, I'm picking up, I'm picking up. I got him. That's a blitz, that's a blitz! Where is he going? I'm getting back, I'm releasing, I'm releasing. Don't throw it! Don't you throw it! Go all the way, combo. Go ahead and throw it down. Let's go. Put it down, badge. Don't put it down. Give me a badge. Six steals. They matching us up against the top center. It's game time. We're playing another professional point guard. We gotta lock in. So you're telling me I'm matched up against the top shooting guard prospect. YouTube, it's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, and we are finally here with part two, this highly requested video ever since I dropped part one, we got the 2K League Closed Combine video today, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, we got plenty of banger content on the way, and drop a like for more Pro-Am videos, today's video is the 2K League Closed Combine, and if you guys watched part one, you guys know the Open Combine was an absolute movie, so we're in store for a good video today, now I'm Obviously, I won the 5v5 and 3v3 2K League events, which brought me to the Open Combine. And then I performed very well in the Open Combine, which brought me to the Closed Combine. And if we perform well in the Closed Combine, we will be offered a player contract and will have a chance to be drafted in the official NBA 2K League draft. Now, I'm going to be showing all eight games of the Closed Combine. I'm going to be showing what I did good, what I did bad, what I could have done better, what my teammates did bad, what they did good, all the close games, the down of the wire games, the blowout games. We're going to be showing everything. Now, once again, I'm on my 6-7 park build. The link to that build will be in the description. We did not have a pro and build ready for this combine, but we played well in the last combine, so hopefully we play good in this one, too. Now, something to note is the players competing in this combine are the best of the best players from the last combine, so the competition is going to be even tougher. You're going to see a lot more competitive league players. You're going to see professionals. You're just going to see more competition in this video. So we got eight crazy games for y'all in this video. If we can keep up the stats we had in the last video with even more competition like, put up against us, that would be insane. But without further ado, let's get into game number one. I'm excited. We are here in game one. And as you can see, you can see our team at the bottom of this screen. Now, you might recognize.
recognize this center's name run this game from the first video where we got blown out by like 24 points in this game with like 20 turnovers and if you watch that gameplay you knew he was not a good center it was a big reason why our team was not working he also did not say a word during the game Somehow he is here and he is on our team. And as you can see on the screen, I'm going to show you what our team was supposed to look like. We were supposed to have this guy named Josh at point guard, but he didn't end up showing up. I mean, he didn't show up. So we had to get a substitute and they gave us this guy, Vector. We didn't get to choose our substitute, you know what I'm saying? So we got this guy named Vector, okay? And you're going to learn a lot about Vector in this game. But anyways, we're going into the game. You see we're playing against Putback, who's a 2K League center. He's already been a pro. He's trying to get back in the league. Probably one of the best centers here uh, in the entire combine. And you see their team, you see our team, and here's the first thing we learn about Vector. I don't, have, I don't even have my accelerator on this build, bro. What's going on here? And that was the first bad sign, okay, of him being on the wrong build with no quick drops, which is the best dunk package in the game, as a guard. No accelerator, not a lot of badges either. I mean, not only do we have a sub that I don't know how he got here, to be honest, but he doesn't even have the right build out. Anyways, this is our team we're going into. It seems very troll already, right? We got this center from the last time that we didn't have a good experience with. We have a substitute point guard that isn't on the right build. But at the time, I wasn't for sure about that. And we're playing a pretty decent team with probably the best center in this combine, right? So starting off the game, by the way, those intro stats are glitched. And never pay attention to those. I'm sure I'm going to get a couple comments about that. But anyways, we start the game. We're getting into the offense. My boy Vector trying to set things up. Hits the corner. That's an early miss. Bad start to the game, right? And a lot of this other team's offense was fast breaks. You see Vector goes up with a layup, gets blocked, and they get a wide open dunk to start the game, right? Now, me and Combo with the locks. As you see, Vector throws up a heavily. I mean, that was a crazy shot. Gets back. You know, we're trying to get back on defense. Good, good fast break defense, right? Even though we get a bad shot, we're back in transition. Lee, I get a steal. And that's the thing I like. Me and this guy, Combo, who is the lock. I felt like we had good defense. You know, we get a stop early. Running the pick and roll. Probably should hit the corner, but we hit the center. He bails out to the corner. Back to me. Six seconds left. We're trying to get into the offense. We're trying to work something. Two seconds left. I have to just chuck something up. That's the best shot I had. And unfortunately, it's not a good shot. Try to get back on defense. I reach. Probably a bad reach. And we give up a three. And just like that, we're down seven to zero. Basically, our whole team making mistakes. Shooting our next because forgot this building have drop-offs. And once again, you heard this dude says, I forgot this building have drop-offs. Did he know he was on the wrong build? What's going on there? I hit the center for what happened slip. He gets blocked. Nothing's working. We're down nine to zero. I dot vector. He doesn't shoot it. Then shoots a fade, misses as he's cold. I feel like he should have shot that catch and shoot, but we're good. We're back into the defense combo with another steal shots and combo with oh, like we were working well together. He hits me. I get a wide dunk. That's our first point of the game. 11 to 2 to start this game. We're back into the defense. Me and combo. You see I'm baiting out the wing. Combo's on ball. Desan's playing good pick and roll defense. He gets the lane steal back up to me. I'm just running down the break. I'm like, I'm tired of seeing this offense. Our offense was so bad to start the game. I forced that layup. It goes in. It's 14 to 7 right here. You see there's three seconds left in the corner. Quarter and who's got the corner? The corner is naked. They get that buzzer beater to end the quarter 19 to 7, right? I'm wide open. I mean, what a horrible catch animation. I, I shouldn't use that as an excuse because I missed wide open, but wow, that I did not time that shot even close. And y'all know I'm a, I'm a great shooter, especially from the last combine. So that I hate when I miss wide open. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. You see, we get a really good contest on this dude with takeover. We're going down the fast break, playing great defense. I go out to the corner. Push. Yo, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. And you see, we're in the press. We're Our team's getting excited. We're still here. We're down nine points with a horrible start. You see, I get another good contest. Me and Combo are playing great defense. All the other team's points are fast break points. Look at Desan getting in the lane after I apply pressure to the ball handler. Get back down to the fast break, and I get another easy dunk. Our defense is crazy. They're calling timeouts. I'm back on the ball. I'm playing good defense. Desan is in the lane again after I apply pressure to the ball handler again, and we get another fast break dunk and just like that it's a three point game three point game now it's a seven point game but you see i get the ball we're trying to look i'm cooking i should have shot that and once again i cook again should have shot that i mean let's look at this play in real time spin back behind the back i'm cooking but i miss with takeover yo i was so mad when i missed that shot but hey i'm staying in the play okay i was open they didn't hit me combo's got the ball back to vector he throws up that crazy shot with four seconds left i don't know what that was he gets the ball back run this game hits me i'm shooting 
over and over that's a green i stayed in the play even though yo i get so frustrated when i miss open but that was tough you see i get triple team right here but there's one second left so i have to shoot it so yeah i am you know getting a couple chuck shots like you know a couple games the last time which is affecting my percentage you see i'm on the player of the half things are looking good we're only down six with all these horrible you know this horrible start right but things got really bad in the second half you see we start with a turnover we're trying to break the press i hit uh the center down in the paint i'm like yo there's things wide open we gotta just pay attention to it right you see vector gets the ball gets another to and he brings up the build again after this to oh, oh yeah. uh, that shit is so troll why no, am i no, no, on this no. build he's right i mean i don't know why he's on this build but he got brought this build out here he's on cold we're down 18 you see i mean it was just turnover after turnover they were getting fast break after fast break and like i said i thought me and combo's defense was actually really good this game a lot that you didn't see on paper from us that applying pressure and forcing into steals and you see another turnover by the center right there that our, our half court defense was great but all the other team's points was off the fast break look at we get a stop right here look at we have two guys down low who's gonna get the board not us right i mean this is a frustrating possession they miss wide open two guys down low who gets the board not us i mean that is frustrating and then they get a three out of it and of course me and the top of here are supposed to run down that's how it's supposed to work but we can't get a board on a two-on-one -on then it just turns into a chuck fest of who can stat pad at the end of the game because we're down 30 and i actually didn't score a single point in this second half because of that stat pad stuff and because we just went down and yeah i mean most of my stats were in the first half right there we ended up losing by 35 i mean the second half did not treat us well i had 14 points four assists a steal not bad um pretty low percentage for me but we had a lot of chuck shots definitely a lot of shots i should have hit 100 percent that i was really disappointed in i mean what a horrible start to the combine starting 0-1 hopefully we get into game two i don't know what's gonna change with this team but something's gotta change we are here in game number two hopefully this goes a lot better but game number two didn't go as planned to start uh, i ain't got a lot of hey. bro, we're not oh, no, no, no way no way bro no, come no, on bro the exact oh, yeah. same jersey uh, no, no, no. anyways we loaded up again because we're not playing the same jerseys on okay that would just be a, a disaster okay we're playing against a seldom t5 who is apparently the top shooting guard prospect in, in the entire league so this should be interesting he's supposed to be the number one shooting guard and we're playing shooting guard so let's see how we match up against him we got the same team vector brought out a different build i mean he still doesn't have accelerators so not sure what's going on with that but yeah i don't know how i mean hopefully we can compete i mean after last game our team is not looking too solid but hopefully we can come out of here with at least a good game for, for, for ourselves a game to be proud of ourselves right if we're not gonna win the game but anyways we're playing against uh you know seldom we're playing against sir rock we're playing against chase we're playing against ralph we're playing against alex we're playing a solid team this is a this is a squad we're playing against okay so it's not like we playing you know one good player and a couple decent players this is a squad we playing against so anyways we win the tip we start off the game vector get into the pick and roll shoot some crazy stuff i got a lot probably should have dot me there and of course you already know this team's on the fast break that's where we give up most of our points so far in, the, in this in this closed combine is on the fast break anyways resets to the center the center just throws it a little too fast and we give it another fast break so now we down four to nothing point guard brings it up the center i don't know why he's dribbling he's got to pick up the ball there then spams a immediately throws another turnover this game could not have started off worse down six to zero now nine to two you know vector pulls up for this midi it looked like a decent shot at first but it ends up being a contested shot and seldom just hits a crazy good shot right there we are down 12 to 2 vector is cold looks like the build change didn't do much i'll go ahead dot run for the midi that's an easy midi 12 to 4 i'm trying to communicate you know saying no there's guys open we just got to be patient another dot right here combo goes up that's another assist we're playing good defense i get a stop on seldom force him to shoot a heavily gives us a wide open fast break and combo misses that shot we gotta hit those shots we gotta hit those wide open fast break shots vector is still cold getting into the pnr i mean he's got lock badge this lock that's guarding him and that's another turnover i mean things are looking bad another fast break bucket for the team right there 24 to 8 i mean wow we're in the second quarter now a horrible inbound pass not sure what happened there leads to another turnover 
It leads to another wide open fast break three. I mean, that's all their points is fast breaks. You know, you'd think me and Cabo are playing bad defense or something, but it's fast breaks. You see, I get a little layup right here. We got two points to assist. We're down 33 to 13. Very good dot by Vector right there. But Cabo misses the open three. So nothing's going well for our entire team. They're on the fast break. Look at, look at how long it's just, I mean, it's just two guys. Like our team's not even getting back right there, bro. I'm running, running corner. Hey, stay top, stay top. Stay top. Oh my god, if you're seeing something screens, stay top, stand top so I can hit you. No, is that not standing top, bro? You ran out of bounds, bro. Ain't I know, weird, but bro. Setting screens on something, I don't know. <laughs> that has nothing oh, to do with you, bro. No. Going out of bounds, bro. Cut it out, bro. Stop being weird, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. 100%. Come on, it's not you the time, it. not the time. Come on, y'all, not the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This kid's a f idiot. And y'all heard it. I mean, our point guard and our center are literally beefing. Like, our team, but this chemistry is horrible. You see Vector dots me, though. I did not even expect it. Pass fake. Immediately shoot it. That's a green. So, you know, at least we get that. But, look, I should have got that lane. So, y'all know how I didn't get that. But I stay in the play. I go up to Seldom. Get the easy rep, even when he has takeover. We're going up here. Probably could have shot this right there. We just dump it down to the center. He actually kicks it back out. And we get a wide open three still. And that's another three for us. So, we're playing pretty decent. But it's just like... There's so many things going wrong. That dude, Ralph, hits a crazy good move on our lock. Misses it. Hits with the combo. Probably should have shot that. Drives it in. I don't know what was going on in this possession. I'm just going to take the easy midi, though, because I wanted just to at least score right there. And at the half, I am player of the half. I'm 4 for 5, 2 for 2, 2 assists, 1 steal, 10 points. But, I mean, like, nothing else is going well on our team. It's just not looking good. Uh, our fast break defense is horrible. Our offense is slow, and it creates a lot of fast breaks for the other team. Good rebound by Desan right there. I'm shooting from the hash. Basically, the logo right there. That's green. Like, come on, bro. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. We go into the basket right here. I back up for a very high IQ midi. I, that's a good shot right there. I need to take that shot more often because that's a very good shot. 14 seconds left. I go up for the three right here. Desan with a good pass, and I hit another three. Look at that. It's a 13-point game, but that wouldn't last long. You see right here, I dot the center. That was a really good pass. I waited for him to get out of the lane, and then we get the, the assist right there. But anyways, yeah, this game did not go as planned. You see Vector actually takes a really good shot right there. Unfortunately, misses. And this game just ends badly, right? We lose by 17. I had a decent stat line with 18 points, three assists, a rebound, a steal, uh, two turnovers. But it's just not enough. You know, our point guard and center were beefing. Um, our lockdown was missing a couple open shots. I shot really bad the first game. This game, uh, though, I shot much better, even though I had a bunch of chuck shots. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was just bad. This team we had just did not mesh well together. Didn't end up working out, especially our substitute guard. So now we're starting 0-2 in the closed combine. Things need to turn around quickly or else we're getting cut. We are in game number three and after a game one where we shot really bad and a game two where we actually played really well but still lost in both games we are on to game three with an 0 and 2 record you see we got a new team we got lag out at lock who you've probably seen joe knows his uh pro-am videos stage top five of the four 14 at the center and gang tied at point guard which is actually a pretty solid team we got a good team here and we're actually playing against badge plug once again we are undefeated against him so far far in the combine in general in our first game against him in the closed combine they have a pretty solid squad as well they got splash uh they got the, the son at the four who was actually our on our last team so we about to see who's about to go on three me or him all right so y'all see the lineups y'all see what we're going up against and as soon as i saw this team i knew we had a good team in our hands so i wanted you know obviously first of all get our first win and try to you know hold my own you know play good defense shoot the ball well just like we did in the open combine but anyways the tip off is here and it's you know we're on our way you know the point guard immediately throws a dot to the corner and that's what i knew we had a team we had a point guard it was refreshing having a good point guard on our team you see lag out gets a steal badge punk rips it back i mean this game was scrappy off the rip the son hits a three just like that it's a tie game this was a very close game for most of the game you see our point guard i don't know how he made that shot but that was a crazy mid-range look at how scrappy he was getting we're playing good defense the other team's playing good defense we're in the lanes they're bailing out of the shots we get a steal they get a steal i mean it's just all over the place that we get a steal we're trying to get the ball it's going out of bounds we somehow get it they foul i mean there's just so much going on right 
right here, I'm playing really good on-ball defense on Splash. And then our four ends up ripping it. Goes to the basket. He's patient. Gets the layup. All of us are playing very patient. They call a timeout. Very good defense. See my on-ball defense on Splash. They were, they were, you know, Bash was just giving it to Splash, trying to let him work. But we were playing good defense. See this lob goes to him. He doesn't end up catching it, but we get the layup. You know, we're taking advantage of the fast break. We're playing very good defense. Bash was up the court. Lag out, rips it. I'm going down. It gets tipped. And right here, I should have gone up immediately. I don't take a heavily layup. That's on me. I got to go up immediately the next time. They get back into their offense. We end up running a stack rotation where, as you're going to see, our corner is going to drop to the center right here. Our four is going to drop to the wing. And our lock is going to go to the corner. But... You know, after playing good on-ball defense, they still end up getting that slip. But yeah, that's just what the stack rotation is called. Right here, I wish he dotted me right here. This is a really frustrating possession. Doesn't dot me, pass fakes it. But then I end up getting the ball with like no time on the shot clock. But get a really good look, but I miss. Like, I was so pissed about that shot because I shot so bad in the first game. And then I'm missing another open shot right there. Like, ah, I hate when I miss open because y'all know I'm like a... 88% shooter in the first combo. But anyways, we get a three right there. That was a really good pass uh, by the, the four that passed it to me. We're up five points with three seconds left in the first half. They give it to Badge Play. He tries to fade on my side. No good. We're up five points at halftime. A very good game. You know, me and Lagow are playing very good defense. He has six steals. Like, that is insane. Badge Play is hooping as well. As you see, we're up five points. He's trying to get something. Look at my on-ball defense. I mean, I was boxing stuff on this possession. Look at me. I'm everywhere. Five, four, three. He throws in the corner back there. Nothing's there. He's got no energy. And we get a contest on it. We're, we're playing great defense. Up three points right here. He tries to get a fade on the fast break. No, we there. We end up getting the rebound. Gives it to me on the fast break. And this is turning into free throws. Badge plug commits a hard foul on me. Now, I'm on my park build, so I don't have a free throw. So, unfortunately, I end up going one for two at the line. But, you know, at least I hit one. You know, we do. We, we need to make a pro end build. Okay, that's what we need to do. Anyways, we get into back into the offense. And what a great pop and shot from our big right there. I mean, that was a crazy shot. Props to him because he was hooping in this game. I apply pressure to Splash. He ends up throwing a turnover. We don't end up getting a shot up right there that going into the fourth but we're up seven we're up seven you know in this game it was crazy because our bigs like 14 right there i mean he was hooping he was dogging me and gang time weren't scoring a lot this game but we didn't need to you know me and lagow were playing such good defense and gang was dotting all the other dudes that we, we didn't even need to score you see right there i get a steal to end the game and we have, end up winning this game by 11 points gg's the badge plug we are now still undefeated against him in the combine um, and maybe we'll play against him later in this video. But now we are one and two. Not a crazy good stat line game for me at all, but a very good game to lead us into game four. Hopefully in game four, we can not only get the W, but we can also have a good stat line game as well. So let's see what's in store in game number four. Game number four, let's get it. We are one and two so far in the combine, looking to even up that record in this game right here. We're playing against Ralph, Chase, and Dr. Legend U. Three similar names or well-known names from game one because we played against those three guys earlier in this video right so we're playing them again in this game and you know after last game i'm feeling confident like our communication with this new team is on point our defense is great me and the other guard don't even have to score for the offense to come to us because we just have that natural chemistry off of game one right so this is the team we're going up against right here you see the lineup you see us coming on the court uh and we about to hoop bro we really about to hoop try to get another win here go two and two that would be good because i want to be positive again we were five and three in the open combine if we can get a positive record in the closed combine as well that would be nice but anyways we're going to tip off right now let's go ahead and get into the gameplay starting off nice and easy breaking the uh full court press get an easy assist to the corner i'm patient with it pass fake you know we learned from the beginning of our games in the open combine we're a lot better with that. We're back into the defense. And I ain't gonna lie, Ralph was in his back. This walk back shot, I don't know how he greened that, but that was a dog shot right there. That was a crazy shot. Ralph back in the action too on the half court offense. He was really hooping, bro. I'm not gonna lie, he was going crazy. Gets just kills our lock right there. Absolute dog shot right there. I mean, he was going crazy. Later here, uh, 14 gets another easy dunk. Hey, I was open, but I, I don't gotta 
problem with it. If he's dogging, that's cool. That's cool. Now look at this absolute dot. Uh, green up. Green, green up. Way to uh, shoot, bitch. Way, way to shoot, double H. I mean, shout out to my teammate right there. That was a crazy good pass. I messed with that pass heavy. You know, we're ready to shoot as always. Um, but you see, we're down one point. This is a really close game right here. Like, we were really going back and forth. They get an and one dunk, though, which gives them a four-point lead right there. 28 seconds left in the first quarter. This is a crazy game. And, yo, that was a crazy shot right there. My boy Gang really got open for that three. Get, or shuts it down to a one-point lead. Back to four. But look at me. Look at me all Ralph right there. Easy steal. Now, right here, I wanted to get a corner fade, but they end up fouling me. But we get it. We got to stop, right? Back to the defense. It's okay. I'll get it again. Another steal on Ralph. Gives us the fast break dunk and cuts their lead just to two points. Later on, we have a four-point lead. Like, we really going crazy right here. The shot clock's winding down. There's five, four, three. He gives it to me. I, I literally just have to chuck up something. I had no other choice. So, we end up area balling that. Couldn't hit the rim right there. Shot clock violation. And Ralph goes back into the offense. Um, we get we get a stop. Good contest. Back down court. Open three. Bang! Come on. Now that gives us a seven-point lead. The biggest lead of the game. Ralph is on cold after that ear earlier miss shot. He's going to go ahead and miss again. I mean, our defense is really clicking on all cylinders. We give it up to the four. Easy layup. And now we have a nine-point lead going crazy. And they have to call a timeout. I mean, this just turned into a very close game to now a game where, like, we're just, we're not messing up right here. I liked how our offense was right here. We shovel past the gang. Wide open on the wing. I mean, our offense is flowing right now. We're getting to our spots. We're moving throughout the court very nice and easy right and we're up nine points at halftime eight point lead right here and we're just playing good defense that boy that boy lag out has great defense look at me i'm tipping as he's putting on he's putting pressure on the guard and that's an easy dunk you know i'm in the lanes i'm there okay i'm here my presence is felt we're up 10 points. We're running our full court press. I'm releasing to the hash. Look at the look at the defense. It's just perfect, bro. I'm telling you, we're clicking on all cylinders. It's another easy dunk for me. And just like that, we're up 16 points. Lag out with another steal. He's gonna throw it down to me. I'm gonna try to get something right here, but look at look at this dot. Oh my gosh, bro. Lag out open. He does miss, but we still score. But that was a crazy dot. I ain't gonna lie to you. Up 19 points right now. Um our center jumps at that we still end up getting the contest get the stop get an easy dunk and we were up by like 20 plus points but we trolled a little bit ended up winning by a little less than that they were fouling and the game is just over at this point but we're still in the fourth quarter i mean just listen to this call out with how our chemistry was in this game yo double h rap and then cut off your rap i'm gonna throw you a lot oh, oh, oh yeah bro. good call yes, sir. Oh, I mean, like I said, bro, our chemistry was just naturally there. We ended up only winning by 12 because we were trolling at the end of the game. But this was a blowout, bro. We go ahead and going on to game five, we will be two and two. I mean, look at those stats. So well evenly spread out. Everyone was playing so well on our team. Like, there wasn't a single player on our team that was not locked in and that wasn't playing at a high level. So very good team basketball with this team. Went 2-0 and with this team. 0-2 oh with the first team. 2-2 two and two going into game five. Hopefully, we can get to that positive record starting in game five. We are in game number five, two and two so far in the combine. As you can see, we're playing some, some familiar faces from earlier in the combine with six at the lock and stays top five at the four. And we also have some players on our team that we've actually played with. Actually, all of them we've played with. Rim is the stage center. The Sonic combo we lost our first two games with. And Sid was the point guard we played with in the last combine where we lost two games with him and got completely blown out both times. So hopefully we can change the narrative of losing with this team because that's all I've done with the player, the teammates that I have on this team is lose. But there's our lineup right there going into game number five right now. We got to get a win, okay? If we lose this game, that means we have to win three straight to end up having a positive record in this combine. And we need a good game right here. So y'all see the team we're playing against. They are solid as well. And we're about to get the tip off right here. Make sure to drop a like if you're enjoying this video at all. And I'm going to give a little spoiler to this game. It went completely horrible. 
it went completely horrible. I'm going to tell you why. I think our defense was good in the half court set. But our offense was also very good. We're getting wide open. But we couldn't hit a shot for our life. You see the first play right there. Wide open missed corner shot. Even me, a couple of these shots. Wide open miss. Can I explain how I missed them? No, I mean, they just weren't falling. I mean, I thought I timed it well. But apparently not. You see, I get the ball right here. And I actually create some good space right here. You see, we're in the pick and roll. I get a wide open fade. And I miss again. Now, I went from being the best shooter in the last combine to, you know, having games like this where I miss a couple open shots, which is uncharacteristic of me. You see Sid's even missing wide open. I'm even going to die. I'd throw an absolute steamer to the left corner. Combo misses again for another wide open three. And it's just like, I know Sid's a good shooter. I know Combo's a good shooter. I know I'm a good shooter. It's just like, I don't know what was going on in this game. We just couldn't shoot. And there was a couple plays where, you know, we getting rattled because we're missing open, where we shoot shots like that, this one. And every time we miss, it just led to a wide open three or a wide open dunk for the other team. So it was just a, it was just a no good, you know what I'm saying? Look at Combo missing wide open again. I know he's a good shooter too. That's why it's tough to watch. Look at Combo again, wide open, misses. I mean, we're down 25 already. And we're down you know, 33. It's just like the game's over, you know what I'm saying? I, I even Dot Combo right here and he's hesitant. Because he hasn't been shooting well. It was just that kind of game for our team. And I know that we're better than this. I know we can get a win. Because this is just... This was bad. I mean, we couldn't hit a shot. We, our half court... Or our fast break defense was horrible. And then, you know, at the end of the game, I was getting into it. I, You know, I have a, a hash. You know, three right there. Spin bag. Get a layup. But these are empty stats at this point. The game's over. We already lost. I, we need to be putting up numbers to start the game, right? We get the ball right here. Why don't we catch and shoot? You know that's green. Uh, it, I mean, I don't even want to look at that scoreboard. I mean, that is just insane. We get a blitz right here on the point guard. End up getting the steal. We're going to go ahead and dot our other point guard for the wide open three. He go ahead and greens that. We get another wide open three in the corner, and we green that as well. But it's too late. It's way too late. We even get a little half court three right here. We end up losing by 31 points. We had 14 rebounds, one assist, a high of seven assists, one steal, five for nine. I mean, this was just an awful game. I mean, you saw the shooting stats. No one was shooting well in our game. And now we are two and three. We have to go on a three-game winning streak. We have to have some good games to end this combine because right now, it's not looking good. And if we play like anywhere near like we just did with this team in that game, in the next game, then we're done. Game number six, and we need some revenge this game. We got the same team, our last game with this team, and then we will move on to our final two games. We're playing against Ty, who's a league player. We're playing, playing against Badge Plug again. They got a solid team, one of the top guard prospects with Ty. They got Kings World. They got a decent squad going, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we got to turn up and we got to get this win. And if we win this game, we move on to three and three going into our last team, right? So hopefully we can go ahead and get the W. You see, this is Badge Plug and Ty's team. This is the squad they're running with. They got the pink jerseys on, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Those jerseys are kind of fire. And then we got the same squad from last game. I mean, we have just had no luck with this squad in that first game. It was looking bad. Hopefully we can turn things around in this game because we need you. I, 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 I. I need to, too. I need a game for, for the ages, this game, okay? We need to really turn up this game. So here we go. Tip-off is here, and we started off this game very well. Sid gets the ball immediately, immediately goes over to the left, dots me, and you already know I'm ready to shoot that thing, bro. I'm, I'm not playing around anymore, man. I was the best shooter in the last combine for a reason, bro, because I'm ready to shoot that thing. And as soon as they get into their offense, they call it backdoor, and they don't even have badge plug bringing up the ball. They're, they're saying, okay, no, nah, Ty's just going to bring up the ball because he's the league player, which, which is cool. You see badge plug wide open three after a steal. He ends up missing that they get the or we actually get the rebound on the fast break i go ahead and hit sit for that open three bang we up two points to start this game and this it was a fight to start this game i mean we were going back and forth you see rim with the pop that was a good pop good shot by him we're up 12 to 7 early on because of our good defense see badge plug should have shot the catch shoot tries to fade on me no sir we are there we are there Gives it to Sid. He's on the fast break, and they actually end up fouling him, which is actually a smart foul right there. 
And we're up seven points, minute 26. Good lane steal by CJ. But I'm back on defense. I don't know what Todd thought he was getting right there, but we there. We get the rebound, throwing it down court. We on the fast break. And Sid's gonna hit me right here. And what's crazy is I get in, in the pick and roll right here, and we get an open shot right here, but he fouls me. So I'm like, okay, bet. We get our three free throws, and y'all know I'm on a park build, so I have a low th free, free throw. But we actually end up making all three free throws, so it was definitely uh, worth taking that shot right there because, you know, we got, we got three points out of the deal. But you see, look at our defense. Our rotations were crazy. They try to run across over here. We're there in the corner. We're in the lane. We're everywhere, man. I mean, what are they talking about? We are literally everywhere. 20-7 to 7 to start this game. We're running our double press on tie to make him call off the ball, the badge plug, and it works to our plan badge ball gets the ball we're on ball right there we're playing good defense tie catch and shoot from way deep i mean i don't know if he thought he had takeover or something but look at us i mean they're they gotta call a timeout or something because we're up 22 to 7 to start this game right back into the double press right back into another stop combo with the steal i'm diving in it we're calling a timeout 22 to 7 back to back stops i mean we're having a great start to this game 27 to 9 to start the second quarter and look at look at us we double pressing that i'm releasing back to the hash i'm back here on badge plug we got that we here we here give me that steal back on the fast break hitting the song for the wide up and dunk he ends up missing and we actually don't end up scoring there but we're getting stops okay that's all that matters our defense is crazy this game back on defense another steal sid goes for the uh, literally laying out his body i can't even speak laying out his body to save that ball and gives us a layup you know he is getting us points on the board. He actually takes a nice shot right here. Doesn't end up hitting it because it was a good contest. But look at me. I'm blitzing that. Ty, you not just bringing up the ball. You can't just bring up the ball like that. We blitzing that. I got takeover now. Uh, Sid's going to go ahead. You know, get back in the PNR. Go to the basket. Easy dunk right there. And that gives us a 16-point lead. And we get a block. Combo is playing great defense, bro. Gets a block right there. I throw the easy dime to the big. That's another dunk. We're up 16 points right here. 38 to 22. We're back on defense. I'm getting back on back on badge plug. And that's another steal. I mean, my defense is insane. Give me the DPO, DPOI. Give me the first team old defense. Whatever you got to do. I, I got a heat check right there. But that was a good shot. I, I don't know how I didn't make that. That was actually a good shot. We got another stop right there. And it is 43 to 24 at the half. I got four steals. Me and Combo have a combined nine steals. With our double press, you know, strategy in this game. I mean, we're going crazy. We're up almost 20 points. And look at, speaking of steals, give me another one. While we're at it. I mean, this is my best offensive game of any combine game yet. Sid hits me for the dot. Horrible catch animation. But you know that's green. I had that one bad shooting game. It's not happening again. Okay, it's not happening again because a shooter shoot. You see, we're spinning back. We actually throw an absolute dot to combo in the corner. I mean, what a pass. We bring it up the ball right here. We're up 20 points, and I'm shooting right over Badge Plug's afro. I mean, damn, give that boy a haircut. I don't even know how I grain that. We back on defense, up 23 points. Give me that steal. I'm in those lanes. Up to combo for the easy dunk. 25-point lead. Now, they ain't gonna lie. They made a little comeback in the fourth. You see, it's only a 12-point game, but it wasn't enough. We end up still pulling away this one up 12 points with a minute left. You know, Sid's going to give it to me. I'm going to get a little crab mid-range. This is a nice shot. Green right in his mitt. I mean, damn. We end up finishing this game up 16 points, win by 16. And what a comeback game for this team. This was our last game with this team. We're going to be moving on to game seven and eight with a new team. And that was definitely a good game. I mean, we beat a league prospect. He had a decent game, 11 for 17, but we shut them down, man. We held badge plug the two points. We had 16 points, five assists with just one turnover, and six steals, and a combination of 12 steals between me and the lock. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. What a game. We got to keep this same energy going to game seven and eight to close out this closed combine to potentially get this player contract. So let's go ahead and keep that same energy. Player of the game, by the way, too.
Game number seven, our first game with this new team. And as you can see, we have he don't miss at point guard, Euro 2K at lock, Steve Clutch at the four, and put back who we lost to earlier in today's video at the center position. So we got a squad, right? We're going up against Zay Flu and Seldom, who we lost to earlier in this video. And it's it's comeback time. We it's revenge time, okay? Because apparently Seldom is the top two guard in the combine. And we're going up against him. And it's it's different this time because we don't got a troll team now. Now we actually got a squad. He's got a squad too. He's got lag out his, at lock too. Two great teams going up against each other. And of course, they got me matched up against the best two guard prospect. So let's see how we match up when we have an actual good team going up against him okay this should be a good game right here probably the biggest game of the video and so we start by winning the tip and off the rip off the rip we're gonna go ahead dump it down to the center get an easy bucket and i knew we had a good guard after you know you, you know you got a good guard when he starts off the game dotting dudes up and calling up plays you know what i'm saying that's just not what we had in a couple of these teams throughout the combine but this is what we had in this game right here absolute dot to clutch in the right corner that's a three right there and we were starting off this game strong you see we got seldom we're guarding him right here he's guarding zay flu over there i mean we got everything boxed we're we're, we're rotating we're everywhere we're everywhere on the court five seconds this is about to be a shot clock they give it to their center though he posts six for the free throw line i'm like what yo they're pulling out crazy stuff out of nowhere i'm like ain't no way anyways back door back door cut easy layup contested three in the corner by euro i mean i don't even know how he made that but what a shot euro gets a, a stop right here i get an easy dunk and just like that we are up by four points i mean our defense was going crazy i had chemistry with a lot of locks in uh this uh combine and i had chemistry with euro off the rip as well you see right here we're going around taking the easy dunk in the fast break and we up six right now we up six we guard and sell them right here get that ball out of his hands come on now 21 to 15 he don't miss in the corner green come on now let's run it up let's run it up timeout they better call a timeout nine point lead early on that's big are you playing good teams like this that's big and what do you know we got seldom on cold we got him on cold give us that ball back that's another fast break dunk and we got an 11 point lead and later on he don't miss bring it up put back dots me at the hash why is seldom leaking out that's an easy three for me we have 12 points about 30 seconds left in the second two seconds left i have to just chuck something up unfortunately it's gonna end up being a heavily but it's okay because we're getting back on defense seldom tries to attack the basket get that stuff out of here get that weak stuff out of here 20 seconds left we end up throwing the turnover back and fouling giving us only a three-point lead now going into halftime but we are bowling right now nine points one rebound one assist at the half our center's going crazy too. Dude's got four, six, and four. We're going crazy. Up one point. We're trying to get another stop. I blitz the point guard. Give me that. Give me that. My defense is too elite at this point in the combine. I don't know why he didn't go up with that, but we didn't even end up scoring on that possession. Back out the putback. Putback is a dimer, bro. This is probably the best passing center I've played with the entire combine because he was dotting me up. Two seconds left. We got Seldom absolutely boxed. Shoots a heavily because he has nothing else left to do with one second on the shot clock. One point lead. And uh, he don't miss. He's going to take it slow down the court. He's going to end up taking his free dunk, giving us a three point lead. Back into the defensive action. Look at Euro, man. Look at Euro hawking. This dude is hawking. I could have pulled up for three right there, but we're going to go ahead and take our easy dunk up three points right here defensive rebound i'm throwing it down to euro give us the, another easy bucket that's a five point lead and we need to we need to keep scoring i mean we're only up by two right here 16 seconds he's gonna call me to wrap back toward the euro back out the heat on miss filling in the corner and he's just wide open i mean what a play they end up shooting a heavily there's two seconds left one second post took and another buzzer beater post took i mean those points are crucial in this game with it just being a three-point lead we get the lane seal in the corner i'm on the fast break dotting he don't miss in the wing and you already know that's green you know exactly what color that is up six points a stop right here would be absolutely huge i'm on ball on seldom it is all iso right here he's calling for the screen now shoots a contested shot in my face that's a rebound that's a board. We're getting clutch stops right now. Up eight points with about three minutes left in the game. He don't miss. Dots me off the double team. You know what I do on the wing. I don't know why they're leaving me open. And look at that. 15-point lead by the end of the fourth. 
we forced another seldom turnover and we absolutely played out of our minds this game 20 seconds left he don't miss dots the corner look at we up 18 this is this is a close game going into the fourth quarter now we up 21 with that hash three dude is really trying to bait me over there we finished this game with 20 points one rebound three assists a couple steals a block and we outplayed seldom as well we we shot better than him had zero turnovers he had four we had more points we had more steals more blocks more rebounds you know what i'm saying we went crazy this game a great game great back-to-back -back great games get great game six great game seven i'm glad we have this team as well going into the last game because we are now four and three with one game left of this combine it's time to lock in and finish off strong Going into game number eight, the final game. As you can see at the bottom, we have a big change. Our point guard, he don't miss, had to leave. He left or whatever, and they had to give us a replacement, not by our choice, and that point guard replacement would be Yo GP. Now, I'm going to you know, spoil a couple things in a second here, but we're playing against Yump, who the last time, if you guys remember, dropped 50 points against us, and he just absolutely destroyed our team. But we have the same team except for GP at point guard. And I'm going to tell you right now, for whatever reason, he did not pass me the ball. Now, in the first quarter, I started like one for five because I had to do you know get some chuck shots at the end of the shot clock which happens sometimes i mean i have to shoot it it's better than not shooting the ball and getting a 24 second violation so i have you're gonna see i have a 20 field goal percentage at the top right most of the game because i don't shoot after the first quarter i don't know if he what was going on here the crazy part is is this gp guy i played against him in the open combine and that was our best game i went 11 for 11 7 for 7 so he knows i'm a shooter and crazy enough uh, the game starts with this guy airballing but you're also gonna see how this affects the game you know early on and later on in the game because you're gonna see the meter guy that's guarding me by the time the fourth quarter rolls around he finds out that you know or he's reading that gp just doesn't pass me the ball no matter what and just starts doubling gp and just leaving me wide open and he, this guard still doesn't pass me the ball right here i get a backdoor cut dunk and that would be the last time i would touch the ball or score the ball all game which is crazy i mean you're gonna see some of these clips of me catching the ball um actually not catching the ball just being wide open and him just not passing the ball I mean, it's it's shocking looking back at this game but right here is a quadruple team he does not pass it out right here you're gonna see that by the comms of in our discord that he didn't even realize we had a popper until the third quarter i'm quick popping i could take blood Oh, you on a pop? Yeah, I'm on a pop. Yeah, he on a pop. I just about to say oh, that too. Okay, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, see, when you were standing at the top, I thought you just wanted me to reset. All right, babe, I hit you. I hit you. I hit you. All right, babe, babe, babe. I mean, not knowing our centers on a popper is crazy. But anyways, look at. I mean, he's guarding him. He's not passing me. I mean, this is crazy. Look at back at these clips. Look at another time. He's in a reach animation. Like you gotta pass me the ball. It's the fourth quarter. It's a fifty to fifty game. Two minutes. This is big. This is crunch time. This is an easy win, right? He ends up turning over the ball, which is whatever, you know, they get a dunk, you know, there was nothing, that's, you know, turnovers happen, right, right here, I am wide open, we're down to, no, he throws the turnover instead, minute and a half left, and they get another layup, so now we're down four, right, it's like, okay, it's still winnable, that's what's crazy, look, at watch how open I am right here, I mean, I'm wide open, I mean, he does score, so we can't complain, he does score the ball, two point game, our defense gets a clutch stop right here, ends up getting a fast break bucket which is going to tie the game up at 54 so it's like okay somehow even after all these no pass nothing was really open he tries to dot the corner here doesn't end up working out but that's besides the point like it, the game shouldn't have gotten to this point four point game our center could have shot that he kind of trolls but it should have never have gotten to that point the amount of times i was open this game was crazy i mean i had two points i was not used at all in this game in my opinion i don't know what was going on but there was just a it was a very frustrating game for me to go from those last two games of being like a very used player on the team to really just not being used at all in that game i mean it, i was even telling the guard too like i'm wide open and it just it didn't matter we didn't end up getting the ball very frustrating game to end the combine but hopefully after those crazy uh couple games we had and it was enough to hopefully get a player contract. But it's time to find out if we made it. It is 
is finally time. We are here after winning the 2K League events, both in 3v3 and 5v5, after competing in the open combine and getting invited back to the closed combine. It is time to see if we have been offered a player contract after competing in the final test, which is the closed combine. Now, to go over the recap of the games, Team 1 with our two games, we had Game 1 and 2. Game 1, it was a blowout loss. We played pretty, you know, decent, but it was just a bad team game. Game two, we ended up losing as well, but we had a great performance. Game three, we won, had a pretty decent performance. Game four, another solid performance and win. Game five, we got absolutely destroyed, but we had a good game, our high assist as well. Game six was probably one of our better games with a high of six steals and also beating a 2K League player and bad plug in that game winning by 16 and had a great team game and then of course game seven outperforming one of the other top shooting guard prospects and also winning by 23 and then of course the um you know disappointing game eight where we really didn't touch the ball too much but we had some fantastic games now if we go ahead and look at these stats in the open combine we averaged 12.6 points per game two assists per game one steal two turnovers with a five and three record with our best game being 11 for 11 7 for 7 with 29 points yes our best game was crazy in that open combine but you know our record was hopefully gonna you know be just as good and same with our stats in the closed combine even though the closed combine in today's video had a lot more competition now unfortunately our record wasn't as good being four and four in the closed combine but our averages actually were better in every category we averaged 12.7 points per game this time 0.1 better uh 3.2 assists per game 1.2 better two steals per game which was double the amount of steals last time and only one turnover per game which cut our turnover in half from the last combine and our best game being of course game six or seven i mean it's really up to you game six with that 16 points five assists six steal game against a 2k league prospect or game seven playing the top guard prospect winning by 23 and getting 20 points one rebound three assists two steals and a block but anyways it is time drum roll please did we get a player contract and the answer is yes, we actually did. As you can see, we got an email from the NBA 2K League. This is massive news. This is a notice to inform you that we have sent you an NBA 2K League player contract package. And yes, they did send me a contract to sign. And I was officially now eligible to be drafted in the NBA 2K League upcoming draft. Absolutely insane news. I mean, we really are first time playing Comp Pro-Am and we are being offered to play in the NBA 2K League. Drop a like, hit that sub button for the performances we had because it's worthy enough to be at this point uh, in the, uh, the Pro-Am, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, I do have some very unfortunate news about you know this good news in uh getting this player conch now after getting offered this player conch of course i was very excited but you know you got to read through this stuff there was other emails they had sent and there were other requirements and other things that signed and everything was looking pretty good up until the point until i got this other email from the 2k league now in other seasons this requirement that they were having uh for this new season i don't think it was every season they had i think only one season this was a requirement and i was surprised to get this email because we are about to be in 2023 and i can't you know use the words i'd like to use on what exactly happened to avoid copyright purposes with this video but i'm gonna show up the screenshot on the screen what they were requiring uh to be done and personally i had never um had that you know happen like i've never taken that if that makes sense i'm not trying to use the words because i will get copyrighted if i use a couple of those words in this video for whatever reason youtube copyrights that but yeah you can see on the screen you can read it they were requiring me to do that and i had never done that to my body before and was not willing to do it now especially in 2023 you know there are of course as you may assume very valid reasons on to why i would not uh do this 
And obviously those reasons are important enough for me to actually not end up doing the 2K League. Now I did email them back and I did tell them the reasons why I would not sign the player contract because obviously I'm not gonna be eligible for the draft if I don't do this requirement they're requiring. So there was no point to sign the contract and they had told me that they will update me if they ever do change those requirement rules. And unfortunately, we're not going to be in the 2K League draft because of this. It's really frustrating, honestly, but I am happy that we did get to this point. And I am happy that we did know the outcome that I did play enough, I mean, good enough to uh, be eligible to be drafted. Now, this isn't going to be the end of Pro-Am content. If you guys want me to maybe join a team this summer or, you know, do some other Pro-Am content on 2K, make sure to just drop a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of what kind of Pro-Am content you'd like to see because I think these videos are really good videos that you guys enjoy. And even though I'm new to the 5v5 scene, I think you guys enjoy watching me play 5v5. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys want more 5v5 pro m content and if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like on the video if you enjoyed once again i do apologize if you guys really wanted to see me in the league but unfortunately it's not gonna happen this year uh maybe in the future i know that would have been some fire new content for the channel but speaking of new content i do want to eventually launch some new channels this year in 2023 so so even though it would have been exciting to have this 2k league content maybe we can make some content that is in the 2k league but is something else that's new so let me know besides a reaction channel what kind of channel would you guys want me to make that has nothing to do with gaming isn't irl isn't a reaction channel but has something to do with sports let me know in the comment section some thoughts or some ideas because i really want to make some other youtube channels to create some new content but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h no matter y'all peace